a car carrier loaded with cars was bound for Sharjah. The master of the ship had completed two voyages. He has no experience in a car carrier. Before joining the ship, he was given a very brief familiarization because of shortage of time. Discharging operations commenced on arrival. The stevedores were simultaneously refueling cars and jump-starting vehicles using batteries on a pickup truck. The officer on the watch was busy with the master and did not supervise the discharging operations. Few hours later, a fire broke out on one of the car decks. The fire was initially small in size. The watchkeeper on the car deck did not raise the fire alarm nor tried to extinguish the fire. He was not carrying a walkie-talkie because all the three walkie-talkies were used by the bunkering team. The fire spread rapidly to the other decks. Fire alarm was activated and the crew mustered only after 50 minutes after the fire broke out. By the time the carbon dioxide could be released, the fire was out of control. The fire spread rapidly and eventually, despite the efforts of the crew and local firefighting authorities, destroyed the ship's cargo of new and second-hand vehicles and rendered the ship a constructive total loss of US dollars 40 million. The judge concluded that as a result of lack of due diligence by the managers, the ship was not in a seaworthy condition. The ship was neither suitably manned nor suitably equipped. The owner was in breach of obligations imposed by Article 3, Rules 1 and 2 of the Hague, Hague Visby Rules. The fire defense under Article 4, Rule 2b could not be claimed, even though the owners were not responsible for starting the fire.